Let's start with the BMW R1000R. This is the hottest, most powerful and lightest dynamic roadster from BMW Motorrad ever. Chris, tell us about your first riding impressions. <laughs> wow, this bike is really mind-blowing. It's, it's so powerful, but controllable at the same time. And I love the handling. It's very precise. Uh, it's a bit like an athlete, slim, strong. I think you saw in the video how much fun I had riding. I'm sure you did, because at 195 kilograms, it is the lightest configuration, fully fueled and ready to ride. The new F1000R is by far the lightest bike in the upper roadster class. Its lightness and agility are outstanding. We have taken our new roadster to an even higher level in all respects. The new R clearly stands for naked power and performance, for a sporty, powerful, sharp design reduced down to the essentials for true physical rider control over this powerhouse. And I can assure you, this bike provides an emotional riding intensity that is unique in the segment, both on the road and on the racetrack. On this naked bike, the powerful DNA from the s 1000 R always shines through. The new R is a perfected overall high performance package with a very sporty chassis and sporty aggressive design. And the F1000R also plays a major role as the big brother, so to speak, in our second world premiere. Roadsters, it's not about crushing your opponent on the racetrack. It's about leaving an impression on yourself and leaving an impression on others. So really what it is about, it's not about hiding from the wind. You want to face it, you want to embrace it, you want to fight with it, really. Leaving an impression on yourself and impressing others. So this is what you want to have in such a dominant bike, you know. Um, dynamic Roadsters, they started out as crashed superbikes, um, bikes that were stripped down to the bare minimum. And this defined the very essential formula for roadsters. Superbike power, superbike tech, no fairings. Because you don't want to hide from the wind, you want to face it, you want to embrace it, you want to fight with the elements. You want to become one with the corners. You want to feel that blistering acceleration. You want to feel that power. And you want to feel in a very dominant riding position. That's why you need that straight handlebar. You want to be bold on the bike. And that posture and that feeling on the roadster is so much better and more impressive than just kneeling down on a bike, uh, like a superbike. Of course, that stunning design is absolutely useless if you don't have the power to back it up. So that's why you'll find a lot of double R DNA in this bike. For example, the engine was based on a double R, but optimized for the rev range you actually use on the street. You got 165 horsepowers, you got 140 newton meters with a very wide power band. So really, out of tight corners, you will feel more acceleration than on other bikes. It's absolutely thrill to ride. To manage this, we have the most advanced electronic ride rates package you can get in the market. Three riding modes are standard, including ABS Pro, our cornering ABS, and DTC traction control, which is also lean angle dependent. At one flick of the button, you change the complete character of the bike, so it doesn't only change throttle response, it changes, for example, also the way the wheelie control behaves, it changes the way the traction control behaves, it changes the way ABS interferes with your riding, so you can have it in a very safe manner, or you can have it in a very daredevil style of riding. And for example, the wheelie control and the traction control that we have on that bike is the very same algorithm that Tom Sykes has on his world superbike. Of course, you can always turn it off with a flick of one button. Something that really sets us apart is the weight. We are by far the lightest bike in the segment. The average competitor weight is 214.9 kilograms. This bike is 15 kilograms lighter. And it gets even lighter if you use the M package. So depending on whether you had the carbon wheels or the forged wheels, you can save up to five kilograms in that bike over the standard configuration. With the M package, the minimum weight is 195 kilograms, ready to ride. But this bike is just so much more than a naked double R track day weapon. It's incredible fun on the twisties. No matter whether you're cutting through hairbands or doing wicked drifts, you can feel that staggering power and that mind-boggling precision on every single meter. 
It will even make a great commuter because it's so light and nimble. I promise you, you'll be finding excuses just to do a ride to the shops downtown. And you will whiz through traffic with ease because you got so much more handlebar range of motion now lock to lock. Something our single hour has always been known for is that intuitive handling and the absolute precision you get on the street. The new bike's steering response is almost telepathic. By first glance, this bike is much more sportier than before and radiates tremendous more dynamic and, uh, let's say, visual power because of its, let's say, demanding muscular appearance. And uh, we had a real focus by developing this bike on increasing the emotional, let's say, um, experience of the bike by keeping the physical control for the rider. And this is exactly what uh, Max mentioned already. That's why we put that significant straight handlebar to the bike in combination with his new ergonomics. Yeah, and in these circumstances, I need to mention also our angle of attack. This is this imaginary line running from the very end of the bike to the center of the front wheel. And this main composition line is now more angled, more raked, and somehow responsible, of course, for that lurking and aggressive appearance of the bike. And from the beginning on, we had an eye on keeping the bike completely compact as possible. And that's why we convinced our engineers to put that really radical short tail end in combination with this compact headlight unit to the bike. In between, we have that, um, let's say, hard-edged radiator cover as a, let's say, visual reminder to some military tools like a tactical axe or a combat knife. And for those who have a little bit more imagination, may they can see these bold, strong arc graphic inside of this outline of this radiator cover. And finally, I need to mention also about our jewels, because we have some hidden Easter eggs in the bike, such as our really nice aluminium anodized seat lock protection, as you can see here on the back of the rider's seat. And this personally reminds me on these, let's say, cool military aircraft uh, snap action switches or, let's say, a safety locker of a rocket launcher. And last but not least, of course, we have this wonderful illuminated R right on top of this wonderful C-shaped day running light of the headlight unit. All in all, as you can see, all the features, all the details, the overall proportion is reduced to the essential. So the right portion of stage feeling for the rider. So we can say that the new S1000R is made simply to impress. <music>